Today we're gonna take a look at the new Blender add-on called Fluid Flow. This one gives you real-time water, sand, and lava simulation using a custom geometry node-based solver. So let's see what Fluid Flow is all about, and how does it work. So Fluid Flow is basically a 2.5D grid-based simulation system built inside geometry nodes. So it calculates flow on a vertex-like domain, updates everything per frame, and then converts that data to mesh output on the fly. It is not physically accurate like flip solvers, because it is more of a stylized tool, but it is surprisingly stable and really fun to use. One of its convenient points is how minimal the setup is. You can create a domain object, usually a plane or terrain, and assign one of the pre-made node groups, and you're pretty much ready to go. From there, you can either paint emission points, and you can do that directly on the domain using vertex colors, or you can assign separate emitter objects with distinct flow channels. The simulation updates in real time as you scrub, move objects, or adjust parameters. The fluid sims aren't the best looking ever, but Fluid Flow comes with three built in fluid models, each with different solver behavior. Water uses a smoother advection pass, giving it continuous flow and automatic relaxation, which makes it great for rivers, channels, and surface runoffs. Sand uses a slope based deposition algorithm, basically checking the angle of repose and redistributing particles when the surface exceeds it. This makes it great for dunes and granular effect. And lastly, there is lava. Lava is viscosity heavy and has a heat based cooling system, where temperature drops over time and eventually converts the moving mesh into hundreds of crusts. But you can also adjust the cooling rate and heat radius for different looking behavior. This tool also comes with key parameters that you can control, like domain resolution, that defines the grid density. The higher the value, the more detail and heavier performance. There is also flow speed and velocity, which affects advection and how quickly materials travel across cells. Solver iterations stabilizes the simulation and reduces jittering. There is also blur passes, which is a smoothing filter that is applied to the height field to avoid stair-stepping artifacts. There is also cooling rate for lava, which defines temperature decay per frame, and lastly heat radius, which is how far thermal diffusion spreads. And you can really fine-tune the motion if you want something more controlled or more chaotic. One thing that works surprisingly well is the collision system. You can designate any mesh as a collider, and the solver uses the mesh as the height or obstacle field. It supports static terrain, rocks, and props, in addition to simple overhangs and flow constraints around geometry. It is not full 3D volumetric collision, but for a height field-based system, the results are solid and fast. The add-on are actually really nice. Water has a transparency and foam mask when driven by slope and spread. Sand has a procedural granular breakup, and lava uses an emission shader with a cooling gradient, bright core and dark crust. But as I said, the quality of these simulations highly depend on what you need. You might find them interesting and useful. On the other hand, they are not the most realistic ever. So keep that in mind. These materials react dynamically to the simulation values. So you don't just get a mesh, you get a visually informative preview. Of course, because this is a 2.5D system, there are some limits and it lacks 3D splashes or volume displacement and no real pressure solver. So don't expect physically accurate turbulence. Add to that, very high domain resolutions can cause instability or drops in frame rates. Also, the mesh output is height field, so you won't get overhangs or breaking waves. But for what this add-on is designed, the trade-offs kind of make sense. So if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.